Hey girlfriends, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I got these amazing results using the Diva Curl package that I got to put together especially for you guys. I'm starting off on soaking wet, freshly washed hair. I didn't have any itchiness or buildup, so I cleansed with my favorite decadence no poo. If I do feel any buildup or achiness, I'll use Buildup Buster because it provides a deeper clean without stripping my hair. I usually only have to do this once or twice a month. After rinsing my cleanser, I finger tangled with the original one condition. If I feel too many tangles, I'll use the decadence one condition for some extra slip. At least once a week, I'll deep condition with melt into moisture. I'll either leave it on for a few minutes while I finish in the shower or I'll put on a plastic cap and leave it on overnight. Once a month when my hair needs some protein, I'll mix it with a little deep sea repair and leave it on for 15 minutes. After properly cleansing and conditioning, it's time to style. I love to start off with the Believe In Miracle Curl Pumper. It's a gel-like leave-in that gives you tons of slip and is an excellent primer for your other products. As you can see, I smooth it into my hair using the praying hands or sandwich method. If you feel any areas that aren't smooth, you can run your fingers through and then smooth those areas over. Next, I smooth in my absolute favorite product ever, Super Cream. Just a little of this styler goes a long way and it always gives me amazing results. I smooth about two pumps of Super Cream into each section of my hair, really focusing on my mid-lengths and ends and other areas prone to dryness. I apply it the same way I applied the Believe In, but make sure I'm grabbing smaller pieces for extra volume and definition. In between washes, Super Cream is perfect for taming flyaways or fixing curls that might have lost their shape. To help give my hair even more volume, I apply Believe In separately to this top section of hair before going in with a little more Super Cream. Here, I'm re-wetting my hair to make sure it's still soaking wet before going in with Ultra Defining Gel. This is my favorite gel to use because, well, like the name says, it gives me ultra definition without crunch. I use a good amount and first smooth it on the back part of my hair that rubs my back the most before scrunching it into my ends. If you don't see this milky water when you're scrunching, chances are your hair wasn't wet enough. For even more definition and volume, I'll scrunch in some frizz-free volumizing foam. I take a few pumps and smack my hands together to activate it and then scrunch it into my hair, focusing in the crown area. I use a t-shirt or microfiber towel to gently scrunch and begin the drying process. You can then air dry or diffuse. Just make sure you're careful and you don't over scrunch because this could cause frizz. I like to air dry for a little bit before diffusing with my Diva Dryer and Diva Fuser to get the most volume possible. I'll alternate the medium and cool temperature and high and low speeds. After my hair is 100% dry, I like to pick out my roots for, you guessed it, more volume. And these are my results. Bouncy, defined curls that can last up to four days and sometimes more. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. For more tips and tutorials like this, you can check out my YouTube or follow me on Instagram at Hi Felicia. And for even more curl talk, you can join my Facebook group, Our Healthy Hair Journey. Thanks for watching. Bye.